Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, let's get right to it. This is by far the most dangerous name brand one handed multi tool I've ever carried. Period. This is the Gerber Lockdown Drive. It comes in two variants. I just want to get right to it and just show you like you want to take some heavy considerations when buying this thing. Let's talk about the good things with this thing first. It comes in two variants they have the Lockdown Drive and they have the Lockdown Pry. Just came out in 2021. I didn't see the purpose in getting both the Drive and the Pry. I already have like this little Gerber utility tool. I think it's called the Pry Brex. I'll, I'll link all this stuff up below, which has a little Pry bar in it and also has some flat heads and bottle openers and lanyards and all that. It comes with utility knife. So I, I, didn't, I didn't see the point of duplicating efforts to carry that. So I just decided to pick up the drive and I was kind of excited about it because, you know, in the past I saw the arm bar and that was a pretty good looking tool and it was kind of big and odd looking, but it was a, it was a pretty good looking tool. So the goal with the lockdown drive is to basically tackle the task that you do a lot of, which is screwing in stuff, unfast, you know, screwing in fasteners, um, you know, having to cut stuff, also having to file things into one quick tool. So it has a textured grip here, which actually feels pretty good. They have low profile bars on it instead of thumb studs, which we'll talk about here in a second. About 10 tools all in one. There is an exchangeable blade that you can change out. So here on this side, they have this little exchangeable blade, which is similar to the blades that's in some of their other kits. This is the same fine, I think the number 11 utility blade, which you can pick up all over the place and exchange that out if need be. So it also has an awe on here, which is kind of blocked a little bit by the stud. We'll talk about that here in a second. So each of the t tools at the top have a frame lock. So the awe, the actual knife itself has a frame lock which is right there. So you can decompress that to put the tool back in place. And the actual drive tool is on the other side. You can access that but kind of pushing up here. That's a, just a slip lock. So when you're done using this tool, you just push it back and you don't have to worry about that. So the file itself is here and one side is coarse, one side is fine. So whatever type of filing you need to do, you can, and then I do like the chiseled edge. So it has a chiseled edge. I don't know if you would ever be using it like a traditional chisel. When I use a chisel, I'm usually hitting it with something to whatever, you know. So I would use a chisel edge to dry up glue on my woodworking task, stuff like that. I would get that stuff up with. So it also includes a two and a half inch plain edge knife right here. You know, it's pretty decent. It keeps a, haven't had it long. I think it'd be pretty easy to resharpen. And then one thing that is favorable for the thing, for the tool itself, is the bit driver uses common bits. So unlike Leatherman, you can just simply, they give you a two-sided bit to begin with. So they give you a flat head and a, and a uh, slotted. But, you know, you can also buy, this is just a no-name. This is a, uh, a Torx 20. So if I need to use a Torx 20, I can load that up from something I already own. That, you know, this is a Ryobi bit. So you're more fortunate as a square bit to be able to just grab whatever you have and use it. So this is a heart little three millimeter hex bit. So now you have the ability to go grab whatever you have already in your drawer in your toolkit and just adapt it to this tool. Right. So sounds like a pretty cool tool. Right. It has a, everything you're going to need here. It has a actually a pretty nice uh carry on here deep pocket carry easy to slip on and off so those are a lot of the pros i like about this thing here's the con here's the part that i find to be dangerous instead of doing the traditional either thumb stud they went with this like pride this low profile bar which even on camera you can see there's barely anywhere to catch your thumb there so when you're going to open this thing one-handed which is what they want you to do look how incredibly difficult it is to open this one handed. And when I finally do get it open one handed, almost every single time I do this, my thumb is almost always exposed to the blade. So when I press down on this thing hard, 
right there, you see how close my thumb is to the blade. And the crazy thing is in order to open this, you have to put downward pressure on this actual bar otherwise. And on the other side, you can see my nail turning the blood coming to the top of my nail because it's turning red because I'm putting pressure on this side, pressure on this side, and I'm trying my best to force it open one handed. I can definitely see someone getting into that thing when trying to use it. Also, the actual frame lock is extremely tight, like it is hard to actually push over and get out your way like in a lot of frame locks and a lot of knives. Same with this side, because of the actual pocket clip, this becomes even more difficult to access the awl. So if I press down here, it's the most awkward and dangerous tool I could imagine using. There's barely anywhere to access this on this. So if you just really, if you compare that here, I have a Leatherman T4. Now the Leatherman T4 does not have a bit driver. The T4 feels a lot easier to open pressing here. I don't feel like I'm going to freaking slice my finger off doing a one handed opening with the T4, but the T4 does not purport itself to be a one hand opening multi tool. They want you to use two hands to use this thing. That's why the only thing you can access almost one handed is the flat blade, but I can still get to that pretty easily with a one hand open this, the lockdown, they advertise it as a one hand open tool and it's so hard to do. You know, I just would barely recommend this to anyone. If you really just want a multi tool that uses common bits and you don't want to have to use the proprietary bits, which are with Leatherman and stuff like that, then I guess maybe you could pick it up. I would just recommend, you know, that you're definitely going to want to use this with a two handed open type method. So keep two hands on it with positive control. So, you know, if this is not something that, you know, I would recommend to anybody, I usually don't do videos like this with just literally just one tool, but I felt like this, this new, you know, snag, I snagged this new tool and it didn't feel like I was really grabbing a good deal with this thing. They are only about, you know, they range between 45 and 50 bucks. So if you do want to pick it up, you know, I did see one guy on YouTube who modified it and he kind of filed this down a little bit to make it more accessible for actually getting access to that one handed. And if you're about that, then do your thing, man. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you're not already subscriber, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. We would love to have you. And for those that have come back, welcome back. And I appreciate you visiting the channel. We will speak soon.